Welcome to Creating Connections podcast, episode number 55. I'm Gittimer Certified Advisor, Mitch Taylor. And I'm Certified Personality Trainer, Vicki Musney. And today we're going to be talking about being in the moment. How do you know if you're in the moment <laughs> or not? This is something we discussed at Mobile Beat Las Vegas 20, and we'll elaborate more here in just a moment. That was nice and easy. What are you talking about? This also speaks to a much bigger issue. Providing personal solutions through understanding people. This is the Creating Connections Podcast with Gittimer Certified Advisor Mitch Taylor and Certified Personality Trainer Vicki Musney. Thank you for joining us today for Creating Connections Podcast, Episode 55. I'm Mitch Taylor. And I'm Vicki Musney. And today we're talking about being in the moment. This was a key part of a recurring theme. Is that a good word for it? Good phrase for it? <laughs> yeah. Recurring theme, key part. It was somewhere I went at the end of my roar talk at Mobile Beat Las Vegas just a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And our good friend, Mike Walter, who wrote the foreword for our book, Creating Connections, discussed it and did a cut of video on it and said he hoped he did it justice. I feel he did. Um, it was a great video. It was. Um, and, and to me, I, I think that there are others in the industry who may be misconstruing what I was saying. And I just want you to dig deep. Mm -hmm. The reality of being in the moment, it's kind of like swimming. Mm -hmm. Kind of, uh, you know, humor me for a minute with this analogy, okay. if you don't mind. Uh, most people think that, well, I, I can swim. I, I, can, I can be in the moment as a DJ. The reality is if you don't get to know that person, if you don't get to know that relationship, then you're not being in the moment. You're not diving as deep as you possibly could be, if that makes sense. You're skimming the surface, right? You're swimming, but you're swimming in like three feet of water, <laughs> <laughs> which is okay because you're still swimming, right? You're still getting the job done. You're still well, you could be dog paddling in your analogy and not actually yeah. doing a stroke. <laughs> you're, you're still getting the job done. Mm -hmm. But I would argue that you don't know how you can truly impact someone if you don't dive deep into it. So what I'm hearing between the lines, Mitch, are you saying that being in the moment starts way earlier in the process? Yes. Not just something that happens that day where you decide, yeah. oh, now I'm going to tune into what's going on around me. Exactly. <laughs> yes. It starts way, way earlier in the process. And I'm, I'm fearful that people think, oh, well, yeah, I, I can be in the moment. I know that that moment's important and I know I'm going to try to say it exactly. It's, and, and Mark Farrell is a mentor of mine, as, as you know. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned Mark from the stage at least twice during my talk at, <laughs> at Mobile Beat Las Vegas. And I've taken, I think, 10. I think 10 Marbecca Method workshops. Don't ask me. I can't. I'm not counting. If you can't keep track, I certainly can't. It's been since 2006 and mm -hmm. almost averaging one a year since then. There are some years I did two, some years I did none. But, you know, last year I didn't get out to a, to a workshop. Actually, I, I did. Actually, it was March of last year. We took a, a gold uh, workshop with Mark. But, yeah. but regardless, I, I guess my point is, I, I don't want to say until you've been to a workshop. Mm -hmm. I believe that you can dig deep and be in the moment without taking a workshop. Yes. Do I believe that it's a fast track <laughs> to understanding the moment? I'm not even sure you can call it that. <laughs> well, okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, it might get maybe you. Maybe fast track is the wrong word. Fast track is not 
uh, a workshop is not a shortcut. <laughs> no, it absolutely is not a shortcut. But sorry, I just I wasn't it, sure about the word fast track. No, there. it's all good. I, I know what you're trying to say. Will it provide it's probably you easier than doing it on your own? Yes, and more effective. You know, when I when I had when my wife and I had our daughter, that moment means so much more to me now than it ever did when I was working in Metro Detroit doing weddings. And I thought, oh yeah, this is important. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it, yeah, it's important, I get it. We're gonna make this a moment, yeah. Bullshit. And pardon me for swearing on our podcast, but I, I said it from the stage. In fact, I said worse things from the stage apparently at Moby. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but regardless, bullshit. You, you can't begin to have the depth of clarity, I would argue, unless you have kids. And that moment means so much more. Um, and I'm sure, you know, others in the industry will argue with me who don't have kids, and that's okay. Uh, or at least, maybe not just having kids, but having life experiences. Mm -hmm. That's probably a better way to say it. Yeah, I think that's um, fair. And, and kids definitely help deepen that connection. Well, and I think right? for you, that's such a huge part of your life experience. You might relate to that moment differently than someone yeah. who didn't have kids, but because that's a part of who you are and of who I am, yeah. that's part of what we bring to the moment from our perspective. And Mark is absolutely correct when he states that it's not what you say, it's how you say it. I can't begin to tell you, um, and I think some of the, the online resources I've gained over the years have been great. For example, the very first time I met Scott Faber at Northern Disc Jockey Conference in 2007, I think it was 06, 07, something like that. And, you know, Scott had his father-daughter questionnaire and mother-son questionnaire, which I thought was great, right? I'm like, oh my gosh, this is totally cool. What a great way to connect and, and understand deeper and what they want this moment to be. And I look at that, frankly, no, um, you know, no, no, uh, I cannot talk today. Uh, I look at that, frankly. It's an topic, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I look at that, frankly, as, as a, no disrespect, Scott, whatsoever, but that's more of one-on-one now with how we approach these moments. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? We all have to start somewhere. And, we, and when I talk to my clients, we talk to it about, you know, how to present that moment in, like, college courses, one-on-one, two-on-one, three-on-one, four-on-one options that I give them of how to present that moment. Mm -hmm. And there's many ways to do so. And I think you have to find the appropriate way to represent your client, yep. who they are as people. You're not going to do some over the top thing if that's not the relationship between the father and the daughter or the mother and the son. Well, and I remember I had that unique opportunity to sit in with you on a planning meeting yeah. when we were in Minneapolis yes. and listening to you give the options to that couple. And that particular couple were very private people and they came to a different conclusion than other clients of yours have. Yes, absolutely. And, but that was so important and just to watch you have that conversation with them and watch you go through that process and listen to who they were, to listen to the between the lines things that, that they were and weren't saying, to you know identify their personality types and take that into perspective, and then come up with a plan to move forward that was the best response for that situation. And, and I think that's a really important piece of this is that you, you're creating moments for them and it might be different than the moment that you want with your daughter absolutely and there's and nothing that's wrong okay. with that. that's how it's supposed to be yes you you shouldn't force feed your clients to do this thing because you do this thing and you think it'd be a great thing for them no you should do what they want to do this is their day and I, okay we i get that that's one-on-one -on -one, mitch okay stop uh just stop thinking like a DJ, stop thinking like I know what I'm doing and actually listen to your client and figure out how they want this presented, 
who they are as people and what would make the most sense to get across the emotion that they want to evoke mm -hmm. for their wedding day. Mm -hmm. That's all you got to do. <laughs> That's all. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, I simplify it sometimes. Um, but this goes back to work. On the surface, that's all you have to do. But it's... <laughs> but it's... It, well, yeah. And on the surface, that's all you have to do. All you have to do is pick up a mic and introduce the moment. Uh, it's way more complicated than that. But that's... Well, I don't know if we have time today to talk about um, how being prepared and scripting plays into the process. But I want to make sure you understand that, to me workshops have had a huge impact on my being able to truly understand, mm -hmm. have the basics down in regards to how a moment is presented, yeah. and then truly dive deep into the moment to be in the moment when you are giving that introduction. You're giving the introduction. It is a gift. You're giving it. This isn't just, I'm announcing something. Yeah. Stop announcing, start giving. Um, there's my rant. <laughs> yeah, we need to make a meme out of that. That was uh, good. Start, yeah. I, I, Stop announcing and start giving. I, I just, you know, I, I don't know if it, uh, I don't know if I said those words at Mobile Beat, but I just want to make sure it's out there. So. No, that was good. Thank you for watching our podcast here today. I'm Gittimer Certified Advisor, Mitch Taylor. And I'm Certified Personality Trainer, Vicki Musmi. If you have thoughts, comments, please write them down below. Just jot them down. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, we got a great review last night from Zach Downing on a recent podcast. So thank you, Zach. Appreciate your, your viewership and, and listening to the podcast. And you also can get these podcasts if you just go on iTunes, okay? Go to iTunes and search DJNTV. You will see our podcasts and many others, including our friends Bill Herman and Jason Jones. And those podcasts will pop up and you can listen to them in your car, wherever you wish. Uh, wherever you get your favorite podcasts, you can pick us up there too. Thank you. Thanks for watching here today and we will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to the Creating Connections podcast with Gittimer Certified Advisor Mitch Taylor and Certified Personality Trainer Vicki Musni. For more information on providing personal solutions through understanding people better, visit creatingconnections.biz.